P4G's 2018 Scale Up Partnership finalists present innovative solutions to create a more sustainable future for all. Here are their stories. Transportation accounts for nearly a quarter of greenhouse gases that cause global warming. Gas and diesel vehicles contribute to air pollution in our cities, which disproportionately affects poor and marginalized groups. The Zero Emission Bus Rapid Deployment Accelerator aims to put thousands of zero emission electric buses on the streets of Mexico City, Sao Paulo and Medellin. Drawing on lessons learned from electric bus deployments in Santiago and other cities, the partnership will work with government leaders, manufacturers and financial investors to bring the health and environmental benefits of zero emission buses to Latin America. A third of the world's energy goes to light, heat and cool buildings. And 85% of expected future demand will be in emerging economies. The Building Efficiency Accelerator seeks to cut this use through transformational change in Latin American building practices, starting in Mexico and Colombia. It seeks to set cities on a path for net zero carbon emissions, energy and waste, capitalizing on best practices in developed economies like Denmark and South Korea and emerging economies like South Africa. Over 150 global companies have committed to switch to 100% renewable energy. But their promises will have little impact if they can't find renewable energy where they need it. This partnership will develop procurement processes to connect developers of clean energy projects with groups of buyers committed to purchasing that energy in Colombia and Vietnam, countries going through once-in-a-generation energy transitions. The goal is to generate 900 megawatts of demand among partner companies, unlocking $150 million of clean energy investments in these target markets. The Global Innovation Lab for Climate Finance has been the catalyst for more than a billion dollars of investment in smart agriculture, sustainable transport and clean energy projects since 2014. This partnership seeks to replicate its model in Sub-Saharan Africa, where more than 400 million people live in extreme poverty. The new Africa Lab will bring together key regional partners and stakeholders to develop transformational financial solutions that make sustainable development possible. Globally, there are more than 5,000 special economic zones designed to boost trade and create jobs. The Sustainable Special Economic Zones Africa Partnership is taking steps to ensure that new zones create growth that's environmentally, economically and socially sustainable. Building upon previous success in Nigeria, this partnership will scale up in Ethiopia and Kenya with a long-term goal of generating $8.6 billion in sustainable investment in Africa and unlocking 160,000 direct jobs. There are over 600 million people in sub-Saharan Africa without access to any energy. Yet throughout Africa, raw power resources are available. They're just distributed unevenly. For example, when hydropower is plentiful in one country, there may be a drought in another. The lack of creditworthy purchases of power deters private sector investment in new power plants, as well as trade across the region. Africa Green Co. is deploying a new and innovative approach to attract the capital required. It will act as a creditworthy buyer of power, reducing the risk and therefore the cost of clean energy. It will start operations within Zambia and the Southern Africa Power Pool with a long-term goal of expanding to five African countries and mobilizing $2 billion in renewable energy investment. Few people in rural Zambia have access to electricity. Most can't afford it, so large utilities pass them by. The IDEA partnership seeks to solve this problem by thinking small. Standalone solar microgrids will let farmers power an electric pump, a mill, or chilling and drying equipment. 
those small investments can easily boost productivity and incomes, so farmers can pay for the power. As more of them connect, local economies will grow and generate demand for even more microgrids. Less than 10% of the world's plastic waste is recycled. It's a major reason that an estimated 26 million tons of plastic flow into our oceans every year, where they increasingly threaten our fisheries. In China, 16 billion e-commerce packages a year are delivered to consumers in plastic bags. This partnership, led by the China Environmental Protection Foundation, with support from Alibaba, will expand a successful plastics and packaging waste collection and recycling program in Xiangmen to many other Chinese cities by 2020. Already, more than a million packages have been recycled. Alibaba is deploying electric vehicles for last mile package delivery. With support from P4G's extended network, including C40, the Global Green Growth Institute and the World Economic Forum, this integrated public-private model can help other cities eliminate plastic and packaging waste. These new models for sustainable development are only the beginning of P4G's journey. With the support of our network and partnerships, P4G will accelerate breakthrough solutions to create a more just and inclusive world.